Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crazy Dreamer Network. My name is AJ and let's hop right into today's reading. So today's pick a card reading is going to be messages from your heart. What does your heart want to tell you that your mind isn't allowing you to hear? Okay, so what does your heart want to tell you that you can't quite hear because of incessant overthinking, you know, just, you know, things of that nature, okay? So let's hop right into the pile selection. We have pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. Pile number one, we have the high priestess. Pile number two, we have temperance. Pile number three, we have the death card. And pile number four, we have the world, okay? So again, my lovely dreamy dreamers, pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. I love you all so much and I'll see you in your reading. Bye. <clears throat> hey, pile number ones, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this high priestess card, okay? And this is from the Book of Shadows by Barbara, Ooh, I forgot her last name, but this is the Book of Shadows deck and I chose all of the major arcanas out of this deck for the pile selection. So in regards to what your heart wants to tell you and your mind won't let you hear right now is um, basically trust in your heart, trust in your intuitive nudge, right? So maybe your mind is also protecting you from something is what I'm getting as well, just because with the high priestess energy, it's like a deep, profound knowing, a, de a deep sense of um, uh, like arcane wisdom and knowledge, okay, that's deep within them, that's within their heart, but they probably use their minds to, um, you know, um, almost like bring it out, right? The, 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 um, the psychic nature, right? So that is in correlation to their mind. <clears throat> and that's what I'm getting, like almost something that your inner self is trying to protect you, um, from in regards to your heart, right? So this depiction of this high priestess as well has like a full moon energy and they're seeing their shadow side, right? They're reckoning with their shadow side. So your heart is trying to tell you maybe at this time to listen to your mind, right? To listen to your intuition is really what I'm trying to say because, you know, certain feelings that we have about certain things can be faulty. It might not be, it could be like a false thing, right? But what I'm getting is I feel like you all's minds and heart are in congruence. And that's what I'm getting. Your minds and hearts are in congruence. OK, almost like if the mind was the shadow self uh, and the heart was like, you know, the external persona of like, you know, your day to day they're in um, they are integrated. OK, so let's proceed with your reading. We have at the bottom of the deck, uh, the universe. So this is Shakti energy. I mean, not Shakti energy, excuse me, Shiva energy, right? And what we see here is the God, the God and the goddess Shiva. And it's signaling with this universe that represents the world card in the traditional uh, tarot. It's signaling a completion. It's signaling almost like, you know, destruction um, that proceeds the beauty and the the rebirth right so what i'm getting with this universe card in particular is almost like your heart wants to say the universe is protecting you the universe has your back you have your own back right and also that you're cultivating some type of lifestyle you're culti you're 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 uh expanding from the old from what no longer serves into the new um a lot of growth a lot of um divinity happening also, I wanted to make a statement. Oh yeah, I, I know I bring up a lot on this channel the um, the law of entropy, right? The la natural law of the universe, and the law of entropy basically states that you know the universe's natural order is chaos, and so once the chaos ensues then comes a time of um, regeneration, then comes a time to, um, you know, kind of clean up everything and make it new again. So that's what I feel like a lot of you all's hearts are trying to tell you at this moment, but definitely a lot of completion, a lot of um, wrapping up old cycles just to 
in order to feel fresh and new to begin the brand new cycles that are uh, um, um, coming into you all's lives, okay? So let's list off your cards. We have the Four of Cups, the Nine of Cups, Queen of Wands, Prince of Cups, the Fool. We have Eight of Pentacles with Prudence. Um, we have the Five of Swords with Defeat. We have the Nine of Swords in Reverse with Cruelty. We have the Four of Swords with Truce. And then we have the King of Cups. So um, maybe not everyone knows this, but um, the first card in a tarot reading is typically the strongest. And we have the Four of Cups with Luxury. I'm getting that you all have a lot of choices available to you, even emotional choices. You all could have a, like a lot of love offers coming in or a lot of opportunity to go on dates or just offers in general, right, um, that are coming in. But it's almost like, hmm, with this luxury card, it's almost as if like, Obviously, it could be like too much of you to carry, right? So it's funny. I've been thinking about this uh, lyric lately from Erica Badu, and it's from the song uh, Next Lifetime. And I think she's like, I know I'm a lot of woman, but not enough to divide the pie. So like what that means is, or what I'm assuming that she means by that is, look, I know like, you know, I'm only one person, right? So I'm only one person. And while, you know, maybe I might be in a relationship, but, you know, someone else might be interested in me. And, you know, I could even see myself with this person. I just, I can't do it. It's too much for me to handle. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I, I, yeah, I'm a lot of women. Like, yeah, you see me, you like what you see. But just because you see me doesn't mean you get to have a portion of me right now because I'm committed. I'm committed with someone else. Someone else has my heart or someone else has, you know, me in that sense, you know? And because of the person she is, she's not willing to to divide herself up. And this is what I'm getting for some reason with this four of card with this four of cups luxury card. It's like I know I'm a lot of woman but not enough to divide the pie, like not enough to divide myself into increments just to to appease you or to share with you. So I don't know why I'm getting that, but that's what's coming out. But with prudence and the eight of pentacles, it's almost like your work, and it's almost like this was something that you have worked on in order to obtain, like you're working on yourself. And that's what your heart is trying to tell you. Your heart, it's almost like your mind would is thinking about it, but your heart is like, you know, your heart knows where you want to be or uh, what you're working towards, right? So it wouldn't make sense for you to div divvy yourself up you know, like fragment yourself to appease other people when you know you have a bigger objective to obtain, when you have a bigger goal, when you have a bigger mission to obtain. So that's what I'm getting here, right? So um, with the happiness, with happiness, nine of cups and defeat, five of swords, uh, it's all, okay. So with this, it was almost like, I'm getting conflicted. It's like, you know that notion where people say like, you just have to be happy. Happiness is a choice. That's what I'm getting with this. Happiness is a choice. Your mind could be playing tricks on you when it comes to signifying whether or not you're happy. And that's really what I meant in, I guess the um, trying to convey this reading, like the title is like, even when your mind played tricks on you, even when your mind is playing tricks on you, excuse me, what is your heart saying? Because your heart space is, is more powerful than the mind, okay? So even when you're feeling defeated, it's almost like your heart is still saying, but your your wish is my command. Your wishes are being granted. So this is this, this is the mind games. This is your mind playing tricks on you. Don't don't believe that. Okay. Maybe this could have something to do with another person too. Cause I did get that Erica Badu thing about like almost like a relationship or something, love offers, right? And there is another person in this, almost like the male aspect of either your personality or a male aspect could feel defeated right now in the mind because maybe you're very happy living your life, getting wish fulfillments. 
Okay, so in the center of the reading, we have the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Swords in reverse. Cruelty, yeah, but you're coming out. I feel like whatever maybe state that you are in, you're owning yourself. You feel very powerful right now. Whatever whatever the case that your mind was playing those tricks on you, you you're rising above it, pile number ones. You're rising above the mental confusion, the mental defeat, okay? And you're taking you're proud of yourself. You're taking ownership of yourself and you're loving yourself and you're feeling really great in your body. Um, I feel like you're, you're, um, feeling like you can do anything right now. Okay. With the Prince of Cups and Truths, hmm. Maybe there was someone, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's a lot of water energy here. Okay. A lot of water energy so you all could be pisces cancer scorpio or someone like maybe coming in for you could be a pisces cancer scorpio maybe someone that you took a break from uh maybe even more emphasis on a cancer because the king of cups here has the you know signifies cancer and has the crab in that um what's it called in that cup right a lot of manifestations are coming in for you though, pile number ones, and I feel like your heart wants you to know that. I feel like you know that in your heart as well. You know that your manifestations are coming in. This could be in relation to a person, right? Hmm, but with the Prince of Cups and the Four of Swords, someone could just be tired. Someone coming in could just wanna call a truce. Maybe they just feel like you're not really listening to them or hearing wanting to hear them out let me see maybe this is someone that you've taken a break from previously that your heart wants to tell you like they're headed towards you or something but let's see uh let's clarify this prince of cups thank you god thank you spirit please clarify this prince of cups why is this knight of cups here for our pile number ones we have the eight of cups. Yeah, this could be someone you walked away from or maybe someone else is calling it quits and walking away from you. Let's see. Tell us more, God. Clear, concise, accurate messages for pile number ones. Why is the knight of cups here in the reading? Clarify this knight of cups here. Thank you. Queen of swords in reverse. Hmm, I'm going to take this upright. Yeah, this could be maybe someone you walked away from. Yeah. Tell me more. One more card. Why is this knight of cups here in, for pile number one? Okay, the star card in reverse. So, huh. yeah, maybe someone is walking towards you or maybe someone saw you as their wish fulfillment, someone that you cut off in the past, okay? This could have been a water sign and maybe they're really reflecting on what happened, right? What happened, maybe they're in prayer, a lot of meditation. But with the car, hmm, yeah, they could be feeling like hopeless about this situation. But yeah, that's what I'm getting. Maybe someone you walked away from or you cut out of your life, are they're trying to manifest you like now, right? Maybe they're taking some time to themselves to think and contemplate on how to get you back. But with the full card and the King of Cups, yeah, it's like they're maybe they're venturing towards you. They could be venturing towards you. This Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio person. Hmm. Uh, clarify the full card, Spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Why is this full card here? Four of Swords. Yeah, someone's taking a break. Resting. Why is this full card here, God? Someone's praying for you, the High Priestess. That's interesting. I feel like that's your energy. Maybe this is you. Why is this full card here, God? One more card. Queen of Wands, this is you. The Fool is you. Huh. You're making a... Okay, so we have at the bottom of the deck the Two of Swords. And I'm feeling like you're coming... You may have to like take a break from someone or something. Okay? But your heart is leading you to maybe a Prince of Cups. Or like you're, you're following... You're maybe going to have a new beginning with a water sign. Or you're following your passions is what I'm getting with the Prince of Cups or the Knight of Cups in the traditional tarot. That could mean something that you're very passionate about, a very passionate person. And you could be following your passions, right? Taking a leap of faith into your passions, into what it is that you, you want to do. 
But yeah, this full card is you, pile number ones. With the four of swords, the high priestess, and the queen of wands. It's like you have to take a break from something um, that you knew deep down inside in order to become this queen of wands, in order to regain your power, re regain your strength, right? You have to make a decision, okay? Clarify this king of cups spirit. Please clarify this king of cups for our pile number ones. Thank you, justice card. Yeah, okay, so you're being brought back to center. Maybe you're being brought back to your emotional equilibrium because the king of cups signifies someone who's emotionally intelligent who's grounded in their emotions no matter what's happening around them they're still grounded inside themselves clarify this king of cups spirit thank you the fool jeez yeah this is you the nine of pen the nine of pentacles i mean excuse me the eight of pentacles yeah, something that you need to be working on or you're going to be um, a four of swords at the bottom of the deck. That's so funny. So we have, yeah, you're going to, you, you've been brought back to center. Okay. You took a leap of faith with someone or a new beginning, um, maybe naively so, but in a very pure way, in a very pure way, right? But you're getting back to work. You're regaining your power and your strength and your authority when it comes to your emotions, pile number one. And that's what your heart wants to tell you, that your head might be deceiving you with. You are regaining your strength and your power and your fortitude to continue to persist on, okay? No matter whatever happens. So let's pull some more cards. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number one. What is their heart wanting to tell them that their minds won't let them hear? What does pile number one's hearts want to say to them? Tell them messages from pile number one's heart that their mind isn't letting them hear right now. Now, I'm getting deep soul integration, and this has a lot to do with the full moon eclipse that just happened. We have one, two, three four technically four full moons in this reading and the eight of cups came out and that signifies a lunar eclipse like that's depicted in the eight of cups is a lunar eclipse okay i know in the rider weight tarot deck for sure tell us more spirit okay thank you look card number six yeah balance so this card represents the six of pentacles which represents balance being brought back to equilibrium you're being brought back to material and spiritual prosperity Maybe there was a little hiccup that happened. Um, yeah, pile number ones, but you're being brought back into the center of yourself, which is great. Tell me more, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number ones. What is their heart trying to tell to pile number ones that their minds won't let them hear right now? What is pile number one's heart trying to tell them? Thank you. Look, card number 13, transformation, yeah. And this uh, full moon lunar eclipse was in the sign of Scorpio, is in the sign of Scorpio. So you're definitely having transformation going on. You're having like a death and a rebirth, right? And you're, you're becoming more um, self-sufficient, especially emotionally. You don't need to really lean on other people to satiate you emotionally, to make you happy, to make you feel luxurious, to make you feel um, in control of yourself. You, don't, you, you lean on God's understanding and your own understanding. You don't tend to lean on anyone else's. You're very emotionally secure. And that's what you're transformed to, right? It says material and spiritual prosperity. So materially speaking and spiritually speaking, you really just need yourself and God. Not to say that you don't love other people or you don't want other people in your life, but you have embodied and you have cultivated a lot of self-sufficiency, inward and outward self-sufficiency. Tell us more, God. Clear, concise, accurate messages. What does our pile number ones need to know? What messages are coming from their heart? Okay. Look, we have card number 19, the light, the sun card. Beautiful energy, pile number ones. Beautiful freaking energy, my friends. And look, we have even card number three, rejoice and celebration. There is going to be a really beautiful happening going on for you, especially after this transformative moment. It's almost going to feel like you're going to feel like you've made it somehow, some way. Like, even if that's just emotionally speaking, like, wow, if I made it through that, I can make it through anything. And you're going to really just reach, reach for the light. You're like, the light is like beckoning to you. Okay. 
card number 19. You could be a Leo with this light card, sun card here, but like maybe the truth is being revealed to you and you're just seeing things in a more optimistic, positive way, okay? And that's what your heart wants you to know. And then look, we have card uh, number three, heartache and loss. Three of swords in reverse. And I'm gonna take this in reverse because I have a feeling, it, excuse me, it was coming out a lot. And I have a feeling you're traversing this heartache and loss. Whatever it was that was on your heart deeply, you're traversing it, okay? And we have card number 16 at the bottom of the deck, disruption. You held it together. I feel like there was maybe a tower moment that happened or like maybe a certain hiccup, like I said earlier, that happened and you held it together so beautifully. This is now your prime energy is material and spiritual prosperity uh, with the sun card after the transformation, after something that could have broke you made you is what i'm getting pile number one okay so let's pull some more cards my dreamy dreamers i missed y'all how was your um how was your experience with the um <clears throat> the eclipse and the full moon please comment below i'm, I'm curious because mine's i was drained all last night i mean all yesterday um, I'm still in Paris, y'all. I'll be back in the beginning of June. Um, but yeah, all yesterday, I just had to take a beat. I just had to like lay down on the couch and I was, I was drained. Tell me more, God. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number ones. What does pile number one's heart want to tell them right now? That their minds won't let them... And on look card number 18 chiron healing yeah y'all are going through deep healing and that was a transformation moment was um this healing that you were going through okay tell us more god and this was the key to something whatever you needed to heal from or grow from that is i'm getting like the key to something the key to your your overall transformation or your overall healing okay Tell us more, God. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number ones. What does their heart want them to know? Look, we have card number 36, house, sixth house routine. You guys could be getting back into the swing of things, getting back into your daily routine. Maybe you just needed some rest, some relaxation, some R&R. &R. I'm going to read a little bit of these cards to you guys, uh, to, to y'all, excuse me, in a moment. <clears throat> Tell me more, God. Clear, concise, accurate messages. One more card. What does pile number one's heart want to tell them that their mind won't let them hear right now? Let's see. Wow. Card number 17. Leo, I will. <clears> hmm. <throat> this could be... Huh. So maybe... Okay. So I'm getting... There's a lot of creativity at play here i think i even said some of you guys could be leos especially with that sun card that came out there could be a leo in and around your your um atmosphere or something like that maybe you had to heal from a leo or something um but what i'm getting is you have the will to keep persevering almost like you could have a lot of leo energy in your natal chart but what I'm also getting is that like, maybe you're embodying or invoking Leo energy right now, like optimism, courage, strength, right? I'm getting the strength card from this too. So you have a lot of inner resilience, a lot of optimism, right? You see the cup half full instead of half empty. And look, what does your heart wanna tell you? Think about it, the cowardly lion needed a heart, I think it was, or courage, I forgot. It was probably courage, but um, I was, you have a lot of heart. That's what I get with this Leo card. Like there's a lot of heart and your heart could have healed from something and it makes you just more like, more engaged, more optimistic, more uh, looking towards the light, right? So I wanna read a little bit of this Chiron healing card to you all. It says the wound is the place where the light enters you. Wow, that's trippy. That's trippy. 
This is what this card says, Rumi. That's a Rumi quote. It says, healing must take place before you are able to deal with your matter. Chiron is not a planet, but a comet with a unique orbit that travels through the entire zodiac over approximately 51 years. Okay. So let's see. It, okay, look. It says, this is a card of great transformation. Therefore, in many ways, you are rising from the swamps. Chiron's energy... It says that once we are able to heal ourselves, we can also take this gift or wound and learn how to resolve, restore others. We can mend our wounds when we embrace process and understand the gift of illness or dysfunction. Chiron is also an expert in alchemy, which gives us the ability to transform the mundane into the marvelous. Whoa, pile number ones, beautiful, beautiful. It says when this card turns up in a reading it can indicate health matters or that issues of a medical nature may be of concern this matter may have to do with health concerns most is, most especially any emotional healing that is needed yeah that's what i was getting uh, at this time you may find yourself visiting or having interactions with health facilities or any place that has to do with the health, healing of the body mind and spirit exactly this is also a time for teaching and learning so schools may figure in this matter yeah so y'all are healing y'all are healing your heart is healing. That's what your heart wants to tell you. I mean, that's what, yeah, that's what your heart wants to tell you. Okay, some of y'all could be Pisces too because this card uh, corresponds to the hangman. It says healing, process, contemplation, um, uh, medicine, illness, grief, and redemption. So there's a lot of redemption going on here as well. And this could be to your inner strength. So, yep. Let's see. Let's read the sixth house with routine. Oh, this talks a lot about the body. This talks a lot about the body. We Chiron talked about the body. Leo, I will talks about the body. And the sixth house routine talks about the body. So it says the body is a sacred garment. Martha... Graham, you must change your usual way of looking at things. The sixth house is ruled by the mutable sign Virgo and the planet Mercury. In the horoscope, it is the area of routine and every day. It is not so much a dazzling place as it has to do with the ordinary. It also rules the body differently from the first house and specifically your health, uh, especially the digestive tract. So some of you all could be dealing with digestion issues. Um, maybe taking a probiotic or taking more vitamins or like moving your body more will help you. I know uh, Leos, I think they're into like working out and stuff like that. So you could be having a full body transformation. Maybe you're working out more or you're just, um, yeah, you're just like doing your due diligence, right? So it says, let's see. So it says, when the sixth house card presents itself in a reading, an important thing to consider is your state of health. Medical appointments, buildings such as hospitals, health centers may figure into your reading. For your future plans to progress smoothly, you must be strong in body and an area to look closely at is your diet. Yeah, maybe you need, maybe in order to aid in your digestion issues, if that applies to you, right? Uh, eat more leafy greens, fruits and vegetables, drink more water, uh, you know, maybe more juices, okay? It says an alternative health approach may work best for you now and you may find yourself interested in Reiki, acupuncture, chiropractors, health supplements, herbs, and visits uh, to the health food store. Exactly. This has something to do with your diet and what you're digesting, right? It says a uh, six house card in brief, your job, how you work and what you are working on, responsibilities, duties, diligence, uh, volunteer work, making sure all details are covered, looking at small things, even trivialities. Okay. So yeah, it says daily work, healing. Yeah. Thoughts, discernment, small animals, employees and orderliness. And it says the seven of pentacles. So yeah, this has a lot to do with, um, just healing in general and um maybe even the daily task that you need to do okay so oof, this is a long reading pile number one okay clear concise accurate messages tell us more god what else does pile number ones need to know in regards to what their heart wants to tell them clear concise accurate messages spirit what does pile number one's heart want to tell them or observation, someone could be watching you, or maybe 
um, you're watching out for the way you eat or something. We have astrology, destiny. Okay, one more card, spirit. What is pile number one's heart wanting to tell them right now? What's their heart trying to tell them right now? Hmm, alchemy, spells. I Ching change, okay? Huh. I have a feeling what else your heart is trying to tell you or observation. Your aura is very magnetic right now and just be very conscientious of the words you say and what comes out of your mouth and what you think because you're a master manifester and you're attracting a lot of uh, a lot of energies to you right now. Astrology, you could be, this could be something as it pertains to the astrology, right? What's going on right now with the uh, full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio, all right? And this is why you could be feeling the way you're feeling. Maybe you've been in deep observation of uh, a lot that's going on in astrology. And with alchemy, maybe like even any slight thought that you think or anything that you say, it will go. I want to read that spell card to you guys, to y'all for a moment. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, this is interesting. So it says something you hold dear, a relationship, a job, an interest, an object, or even yourself will transform mysteriously into something even more precious to you. It says the spells card indicates that you are starting to discover the possibilities the art of transformation offers you. Possibilities you haven't even realized were out there. As you learn more, you will find your needs change and a kind of evolution takes place. Wow, this is what's going on. This definitely has something to do with the energies at play here astrologically. It says where you uh, where you find you desire only what's best for you. You have the Midas touch right now. Your standards and expectations become so pure. Gosh, what did I say? I said that about the um, something. I said that in regards to the um, full card. It says your standards and expectations become so pure that whatever you touch turns to metaphoric gold. You will be supported in gaining a new sense of self-worth, which will draw all that you desire, deserve and desire directly to you. This says other divinatory meanings. This is a time of great transformation. All is turning out beautifully. You have the power to change a situation. And what was at the bottom of the deck? I cheat change. Okay. So it says you have the power to change a situation, believe in your self-worth, have positive expectations. You have the ability to succeed. Your pure intentions are key. That's really beautiful, pile number ones. So yeah, you all are, are integrating yourself and you're transforming and you have cultivated a sense of self and your heart wants you to know that even if your mind kind of deceives you in that from time to time, okay? So let's see, let's um, pull some angel messages cards to end your reading, pile number one. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for blessing, cleansing and blessing this deck, for giving us the body guidance, wisdom, and insight into what else pile number ones need to know. Last messages, guidance, advice, wisdom for our pile number one spirit. Thank you. We have trust. Oh, this is beautiful, pal number one. All will work out well. That's literally what that spells alchemy card just said. All will work out well. We, your angels, are here to nurture, protect, and heal you. Trust in the healing power of our love. We love you more than you'll ever know. Beautiful energy. What else, spirit? Thank you. Vision. Beautiful. It says a positive outcome requires a positive vision. Visualize everyone involved in your present situation surrounded by light and love. Make sure to include yourself also. Your love has the power to influence and transform the current events. Wow. That's what that spells alchemy card was saying. Y'all are alchemists. Y'all are a master manifester. And with knowing that, you know, to whom much is given, much is required. So really use that to the best of your abilities and for, for, for everyone's highest good and your highest good included. What else, Spirit? Thank you. And it says, Archangel Raphael. It says, fill yourself surrounded by my emerald green light. I, Archangel Raphael, offer you healing and solace. The storm, storm clouds will soon clear and the sun will shine eternally bright. Trust. Another message of trust. Just trust whatever's going on and... um whatever you may 
feel, um, you know, is take, yeah, whatever you feel is occurring in your life, it will be traversed and it is being traversed and it could be whatever you're fearing, right? So it says, uh, I Archangel Michael, I, I Archangel Michael am here to help you through the present time. I love you. I protect you and I keep you safe. Trust that all is well, accept my love and allow it to dissolve your fear. Trust. Okay. That is the key words of wisdom and advice to end off your reading pile number one trust everything is working out for the highest good of yourself and the highest good of everyone involved okay so with that being said my dreamy dreamers i love y'all so much if you like this reading if it resonated with you please give this reading a big thumbs up like share and subscribe share this content with loved ones family friends or whoever would uh you know be a uh, benefit from the messages provided here today. Again, my pile number ones, I love you all so much and I'll see you in your next readings. Bye. Hey, pile number twos, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this temperance card, okay? So what I'm getting is you all could be like going out a lot, eating out a lot, maybe like uh, maybe dating or um, just enjoying the finer things in life, maybe a little bit too often, okay? You could be, um, kind of like, how can I put it? You could be like really indulging in super rich foods, uh, drinking a lot, um, maybe even drinking a lot of wine, red wine to be exact. Um, but yeah, so what I'm getting that your heart wants to tell you that your mind isn't allowing you to hear right now is maybe everything, do everything in moderation, you know, like too much of a good thing isn't always so good is what I'm getting, right? Like, even he's kind of looking at her like, huh? <laughs> like, maybe you're just, you're happy with, you know, kind of overindulging. And maybe the people around you are being like, okay, maybe slow slow it down a little, okay? With the temperance card here, some of you all could be Sagittarius's or have Sagittarius energy in your chart. Or, yeah, that's exactly what I'm getting. So with this temperance card, Sagittarius energy, Jupiter rules Sagittarius. Uh, it used to rule Pisces too, but uh, it rules Sagittarius now. And what I'm getting is Jupiter uh, is actually uh, kind of like overindulgent in and of itself because it's a very like opulent, happy energy. And, you know, even, you know, maybe if you've ever been in a relationship, you we all kind of can understand how we can kind of like slip into the mindset of comfortability and we can get too comfortable and overindulge and kind of like not let ourselves go, but like not be as much like present in like, you know, taking care of ourselves and taking care of our bodies because we're just so constantly consumed and overindulging. Okay. So just be aware of that. I think your heart's trying to tell you that and maybe your mind is like, well, you know, I'm on vacation or, or I'm just having fun or I don't do it often, but I feel like even so just be very present and aware of uh you know what your body is trying to tell you and how your body is responding to certain foods to certain you know maybe how much you drink or whatever okay so we have at the bottom of the deck the devil so yeah and it's interesting because it's piercing this heart this devil energy is piercing this heart you oh my goodness and you want to know what something funny is it's piercing this heart with the same thing that this full card has i forgot what this is called i wish i would have bought this guidebook but it's something that talks about health okay maybe be weary uh, not weary excuse me but take into accountability your heart health okay and what your heart is telling you um, but yeah, you could be just overindulging with this devil card. I'm getting, maybe you're bound to, you know, toxicity at this point and not in a bad way. Ugh, how can I put this? I'm just getting overindulging, like just being a little gluttonous right now. Okay. So maybe your heart wants to tell you that and your mind is just kind of telling you like, no, it's okay. <laughs> Do it anyway. You know? <laughs> So let's list off your cards. Pile number two, we have the four of cups. We have the full king of pentacles, six of wands, eight of pentacles. We have the five of wands with strife. Um, we have the full, I mean, the tower card, excuse me. We have the princess of swords, strength, and the princess of cups. So going into the center of your reading, oh, I just wanted to mention, you also may have felt drawn to pile number ones as well, pile number twos, because yeah, you just might have. 
So with the King of Pentacles and the Princess of Swords, I, I'm feeling like you're you're very curious about something. This could be a King of Pentacles. This could be a masculine figure or masculine energy by means of a, uh, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. But what I'm getting is a lot of Virgo energy as well, even though that really doesn't signify the King of Pentacles, but I'm getting Virgo energy in relation to maybe being on top of your material things, right? Maybe you are getting like uh, more inspiration to be on top of your material things. That means your body, that means your health, that means your finances and things of that nature, right? Your legacy, what you want to build, what you want to cultivate, right? And I have a feeling you're very uh, dexterous, right? Dex Dexterity? Dexterious? I don't know if that's a word. Dexterious, but you're practicing your dexterity. Like you're you're very swift in your thinking and your thought patterns. And you know, you're you're having a fun, playful time, but you're also, you know, getting back to work is what I'm getting, okay? So moving back to the beginning of the reading with the four of cups luxury and the five of wands strife. Like I said, maybe you've been having, like I always like to say with the Four of Cups, why is it so hard to accept the party is over? Okay, well, that's the five. Well, is that the Four of Cups? I can't remember, but that's what I'm getting here. Like, you know, she has this, this uh, figure has this Three of Cups in their hands and then another cup that's full is falling from the sky. So you could just be feeling like, oh, I have so much available to me that uh, almost like you're a little apathetic towards it. Like, well, what does it matter? Because it, it just keeps coming or maybe you, you wanna take a little step back from it because it's a little bit too much, um, to bear or to hold, right? And with this strife card, you may feel conflicted about all that is being given to you at this time. And I don't think um I don't think it's like conflicted about you wanting or deserving or needing abundance. No, I feel like maybe it's just you have so many options available to you. You have to be very strategic and um you could have a little bit of conflict about how to handle all those options that are available to you right now pile number twos okay so with the full card and the tower it's like you're definitely expanding your mind's expanding because i feel like you maybe have gone on a trip gone on a journey right we could have the full card and this is the fool's the fool's um journey right is it the fool's journey i think so yeah <laughs> i think it's the fool's journey um in tarot so we have the fool's journey and you're venturing to this um to this luxury to 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 the land of abundance and opulence and you know overindulging and i feel like you inner and external conflict in regards to okay well how much is too much right but like i said the full card and the tower card you're having revelations you're having epiphanies maybe something could have happened to maybe like your digestive system and you're like okay i've been eating too much or i've been indulging too much let me fast or let me take a break or you know something of that nature to do with your health okay but you're transforming and it's because you 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 took this leap of faith okay let's see let's um actually let's clarify the four cups Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Why is this four of cups here for our pile number twos? Please clarify the four of cups for our pile number twos. I find it interesting, though, that there's two people in conflict here under the four of cups. Maybe you have a lot of options and <laughs> they're fighting over you, pile number twos. Maybe you're a very popular person. Tell me more, Spirit. Why is this four of cups here for our pile number twos? Okay, we have the Eight of Cups. Why is this Four of Cups here for our pile number twos? We have the Strength card. <laughs> Why is this Four of Cups here for our pile number twos? Okay, and we have the Page of Swords. Interesting, someone could be watching you right now. Yeah, someone could be watching you, um, seeing what you're up to. Maybe someone that you walked away from. This could be in relation to this, um, uh, what is it called? This full moon lunar eclipse because in the Eight of uh, Cups, it usually speaks of a lunar eclipse that's happening in the Rider Waite Tarot. This could be a Leo who's watching you. 
or someone's chatting about you. Yeah, this is a Leo watching you walk away from them maybe. Because maybe whatever you had to hold was too much to bear. And maybe they're watching you because they're like, well, what's going on? Okay. Hmm. So, yeah, we have six of wands with victory. And then we have the strength card. Yeah, you've conquered yourself. You've conquered your inner resilience. There's a lot of butterflies in this reading pile number two. So a lot of transformation. Definitely go check out pile number ones. These butterflies are purple, too, just like this wine. So I'm getting elixir of life. But yeah, with the six of wands and the strength card, maybe like there's been some type of victory. A lot of Leo energy has been present a lot in these readings. Why is the six of wands here, God? Please clarify the six of wands. Thank you. One more card. Okay, four of pentacles, queen of wands. Huh, maybe you met your divine counterpart. Yeah, look, we have the three of wands, page of swords, and then the four of pentacles. Someone is watching you that does not want to let you go. They see your growth. They see your expansion. They see your development. They see your triumph, your victory, and they don't want to let you go. They, maybe they feel like the queen of wands here. They see how beautiful you look. Look, six of, look, this just came out right now. Six of wands. Huh. Okay, so with the eight of pentacles, prudence, and the princess of cups, it seems like you're just working on yourself. You're being very lighthearted. You're taking things like as they come. You're taking them in stride, pile number twos. You're just very, you know, methodical and working on yourself. You're you're okay is what I'm getting with this eight of pentacles and prudence. That's what your heart wants to tell you. You're okay. Uh, and you're becoming more and more okay with self. You could be feeling very cute and innocent. A lot of innocent energy here. Um, yeah, using your intuition, getting to work, okay? But you're okay. Like, I don't know why I keep getting you're okay with the prudence and the princess of cups. Like, you're taking care of yourself. You're taking care of your heart right now. And your mind might deceive you like, no, this is going on. But really, you're really doing a really excellent job of taking care of yourself. Tell me more, spirit. What else does our pile number twos need to know? What does their hearts want to tell them? What does pile number two's heart want to tell them? Look, card number seven, stand your ground. Yeah, you're standing up for yourself. You're defending yourself. You're defending your sense of self-worth and your integrity. You're remaining victorious at this time. Okay. Tell me more, Spirit. What else does our pile number two's heart wants to tell them that their mind may not allow them to hear right now? Tell me more, God. Okay. Look, we have card number 21 with the universe. I have a feeling the universe has your back. And for some reason, I'm like seven is divisible into 21 by three. You could be seeing three, three, three a lot. Tell me more, God. What else is pile number two's heart wanting them to, to know that their mind won't let them hear right now? What pile number three's heart want them to know? Card number one, base. Yeah, you're grounded. You're very grounded right now. Even, even if your mind tells you otherwise, even if your mind tries to deceive you like you're not, you are. You're very grounded in self and you're building a foundation. I feel like that King of Pentacles energy could be you, pile number ones. Making sure that uh, it could be a Capricorn around as well with the King of Pentacles and the Devil card could definitely be a Capricorn around or coming in or maybe you're embodying your Capricorn energy, your Capricorn North Node. If, if some of you are Capricorn North Nodes, you could be starting over again, starting back at one. I'm getting that Brian McKnight song, start it back at one. <laughs> Tell me more, God. One more card. One more card. What does pile number two's heart want to tell them that their mind won't allow them to hear right now? Oh my goodness. Three of swords. A uh, heartache and loss. Definitely go watch pile number one because it's con be in continuation. So yeah, it's like you're healing right now or you've come to a, a healing point. Yeah. You've healed some type of heartache and loss. Or it seems like whatever, anytime you feel like you lose something, you heal quicker. 
Like that's your alchemy. That's your magic. That's how you are a like, hmm. And look, what did I say earlier? Seven goes into 21 three times. And what did I say? You're starting back at one, starting back at zero, really new beginnings. Okay. You could be traveling the world right now or getting to know the world within yourself. Okay. You're trusting yourself more, pile number ones. Let's see. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages. I mean, pile number twos. I'm so sorry. What else? What else does pile number twos hearts want them to know that the mind will allow them to hear right now? What does pile number twos hearts want them to know? A lot of Capricorn energy. Oh my goodness. Card number 22, Capricorn. I use, okay. And then we have card number 14, Taurus. I have. I'm... Okay, this could be a lot of Saturn aspects in your chart that's coming out right now. Maybe you had to traverse something or had a difficult time with something, but now that's over and you're, you know, kind of, um, what is it called? You are um, triumphing over that pile number twos. One more card, Spirit. What does pile number twos hearts want them to know right now? Okay, look, y'all, destiny, card number 48. I feel like something you've been through was a part of your destiny, like it had to happen in order for you to realize something. I'm getting that realizing things. <laughs> okay, let's read a little bit of this card number 22, Capricorn. Uh, wrong book. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So we have, yeah. Card number 22, Capricorn, I use, it says time, the corrector, when our judgments err, err, okay? Lord Byron, Child, Herald's Pilgrimage, Canto Fourth. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> it says it is time to focus on your objectives and not let up. Ruled by Saturn, the planet of hard luck, the sign of Capricorn is personified by the goat that climbs the steepest cliffs to gain worldly success. This is what you're doing. You're using what you have to get what you want. You're using what you have to get what you want, pile number twos, okay? It says uh, Capricorn is a resourceful sign and those under its influences long for power and prestige. There is no one more ambitious than a Capricorn. They really do want to take the world by the horns, okay? It says there are more spiritual goats, of course, but the aim of most Capricorns is fundamentally practical in nature. With them, there are no careless wanderings into fairyland, okay? So what I'm getting as well, pile number two, you could have been in fairyland for a minute, but you grounded yourself back real quick. Like, like, uh, uh come back okay something could have happened happened someone could have maybe like maybe you were gallivanting you, you meet people and then those people had to go back where they came from and then now you're brought back to reality because you're back at square one you're back uh you know to yourself right so it says this mountain goat looks for a physical niche, okay? And through some glorious contact by which they can achieve, their aim is to come up in the world no matter what it takes. This is the reason behind the model for Capricorn I use, okay? So it says, since Saturn is their God, Capricorns are interested in what's solid, what can be seen, touched, or bought. Capricorns utilize their energies towards some concrete purpose rather than daydreams in the imagination. When Capricorns do indulge in dreams, they always dream big. Oh, this is beautiful. They are insanely ambitious and often good looking. Capricorns appear mature early in life and when they grow young and then grow younger and younger with each passing year that's funny y'all could be experiencing like aging in reverse and that could be your destiny right it says when the capricorn card appears in a reading it denotes a time of diligence and hard work there is a gain in status and reputation whatever you've toiled over and uh, especially sacrifice for you are ready for splendid results to be revealed keep in mind this gain may be slow and systematic but that you are heading towards something solid and lasting it says you are about to meet all the right people who will back you and your goals some may be greater in status than you but they will show you the ropes 
or support you in some substantial way by all means do not lose them okay this is beautiful yeah this is amazing pile number two so it's it's like you're using what you have to get what you want and look at how these cards mirror each other okay you could be meeting a taurus uh, and because you're embodying this Capricorn energy, you could be meeting a Taurus that will really help you to accelerate whatever you're trying to do or whatever you're trying to gain in life, okay? Definitely a lot of Capricorn energy. You could be obsessed with um, um, work or doing something that's going to have maximum benefits. And this is your destiny card number 48 with a yacht, okay? And even the Yod card signifies something that takes time, something that is progressive, almost like being at like a fork in the road, but whatever it is, it's happening for you, not to you, right? It's happening for your better good. <clears throat> Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Tell us more. Clear, concise, accurate messages. What else does pile number one's heart want them to know that their mind isn't allowing them to hear right now? What does pile number one's heart want them to know that their minds aren't allowing them to hear right now this could have been someone maybe you met went out on a date with or wants to ask you out okay look we have scrying mirror projection we have thunder and lightning power and we have palmistry interpretation very interesting cards at the bottom of the deck we have auger mastery yeah you're mastering yourself right now pile number um twos you could feel like you're floating on air like you're levitating that's how powerful you're becoming thunder and lightning power right with scrying mirror projection you could be beautifying yourself or literally seeing yourself aging in reverse almost i'm getting glamour okay so i don't get someone's projecting on you in this i don't feel that way at all i feel that um whatever you think you become and it's your up to your own interpretation of what beauty is to you from the inside out and like that Capricorn card suggested you could feel like you're aging in reverse or you could keep telling yourself oh I'm aging in reverse I get better and better with time and you you do because of that and with palmistry interpretation you mm, you could be interpreting something wrong um, I'm gonna read a little bit of that card look <laughs> okay so it says palmistry interpretation too often you draw conclusions that leave you feeling upset or frustrated but your reactions are due entirely to your own interpretations of what others say in the situation you find yourself in adopt a new way of thinking that will help you embrace life and live it to the full that's why you are here after all spruce yourself up in appearance what did i say beautifying yourself omg Spruce yourself up in appearance if you will, but definitely in mind, okay? So that's what it's, it's telling you. Like, yeah, you could beautify yourself and everything, but your mind has to do that first and then everything else will project, project on the outside, right? So it says grabbing opportunities with gusto and purpose will turn your life around and you will find you achieve more than you have. It says soon you'll notice that others' attitudes towards you will become more affirming as yours will to them and to anything else that comes your way it says uh what you deem as bad uh, other divinatory meanings what you deem is as bad is another man's good nothing is all black or white look at the situation through different eyes visit an ex accredited palm reader uh, consider where life has taken you and make changes if need be exactly so whatever you have to do to feel your best and to look your best in order to even have worldly success if that's what you want it if that's what you want pile number um twos if that's what your heart desires right do it you know and 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 you want to change the mind first you're transforming the mind and then the body will follow right create it in the mind and then you know the the physical will follow that's literally what manifestation is all about okay so we're gonna uh end your reading off here thank you god thank you spirit for cleansing and blessing this deck what are the last messages for our power twos advice wisdom insights <clears throat> last messages for our power number two spirit thank you thank you thank you, thank you.
we have a positive outcome. Beautiful. The sun is about to burst through the clouds and you will soon see things in a different light. Interpretation. Uh, something that previously seemed hopeless will soon be filled with nothing but hope. Beautiful. Look at what this was popped out. It says, Ar Archangel Sandophon, I have heard your call for help. Your prayers will soon be answered. Ah, oh, so gorgeous. One more card, God, for a pile number twos. One more card. Thank you. And it says vision. It says a positive outcome, hello, requires a positive vision. Visualize everyone involved in your present situation, surrounded by light and love. Make sure to include yourself also. Your love has a power to influence and transform the current events. And I feel like you have, you know, cultivated your vision to uh, have a positive outcome. And this is why this is coming out for you. This is why this positivity, this ambition, this drive, you're, 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 you're grounded back into yourself and the things that you wanted for yourself in the beginning, pile number twos, okay? <clears throat> It says integrity, be flexible, but also be true to yourself. Stand by your beliefs and values and others will stand by and believe in you. This beautiful, beautiful message, pile number twos. And with that being said, my lovely dreamy dreamers, I love you all so much. If this reading resonated with you, if it helped you in any way, please like, share, and subscribe. Share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone else who would be best benefit from the messages provided here today. Again, my lovely dreamy dreamers, I love you all so much, and I'll see you in the, in the next reading. Bye. Hey, pile number threes, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this death card, okay? And this death card depicts uh, someone moving, you know, someone moving, maybe they've lived in a residence for a very long time, and now it's, you know, time for them to transition onto a new, a new house, a new residence, a new um, opportunity for them, a, a new um, beginning, so to speak, right? So um, it's like bittersweet, you know, the memories that they left at this house, but then also the new things, memories and opportunities that will be available in the next one. And that's what I feel like your heart is trying to tell you. Something could be bittersweet right now. Something, you know, could be full of opportunities, but leaving behind everything that you've ever known could, you know, make you feel like, wow, okay, this is happening, right? So what I'm getting that your heart wants you to know, pile number three, is that like this is a time of transformations, transitions, but in the most beautiful way, you're going to become more strong, more resilient, more, um, you know, just more of a happier um, version of yourself, more of a better version of yourself is what I'm trying to say, okay? So let's get to your reading. We have at the bottom of the deck, death and rebirth, right? Card number 13, both like there is no question, right? It was your, your main card from the pile selection and it's your, the bottom of the deck card. So what this card is basically saying is that you're being born anew, you know, you're being forged through the fire. You're the Phoenix rising from the ashes and the ashes in regards to, you know, being strong enough to leave behind what no longer serves you and becoming this beautiful beacon of hope to not just yourself, but to everyone around you. Okay. So your heart wants you to know how grounded you are and how at peace you're about to become, okay? Even when, uh, you know, I was pre-shuffling and I saw this hermit card uh, with the ohm sign and, you know, you go going almost like on a pilgrimage or finding a refuge in something, you know, by yourself, okay? You know, uh, traveling and expanding and growth and, you know, being to yourself and by yourself for a while, that's probably what's really helping in this transformation process. You know, you're being able to answer the questions that you're seeking along with God, right? God, spirit, source, energy, the higher self, the most high. So let's list off your cards. We have the five of swords with defeat. We have the uh, princess of pentacles, which is a page of pentacles. We have three of pentacles with works. We have the lover's card. We have the nine of cups with happiness. Ace of pentacles. Um, yeah, we have the Ace of Pentacles. We have uh, the Ten of Swords with Ruin. We have the Prince of Swords. We have the Princess of Cups and the Chariot. So we have one, two, we have one, two, we have a two page energy. So a lot, a lot of new energies here, okay? Um, yeah, a lot of new energies here for you, pile number threes, okay? But let's start in the center with the Three of Pentacles, what works, and the Prince of Swords. You could have had this notion and just get back to work, get back to the things that are working for you, right, as well. With the Three of Pentacles, you could maybe be... 
um, introduced to a lot of collaborative opportunities or there could be a lot of collaborative opportunities that are coming your way. Um, but this person is alone, right? This person in this three of pentacles is alone, whereas a traditional Rider Waite tarot, uh, they're usually not. So you, what I'm getting is you're in works, faith without works is dead. So you're actually working on something with a, a magnitude of faith that maybe you've never had before. And it's working in your, your, to your best interest and, and God's spirit source energy, those, those, energies that you can't see is what's making things work right and they're charging right in for you okay you have a lot of things on your mind a lot of ideas a lot of um just new energy or something's coming in very quickly okay it could be a lot of work coming in for you um yeah it could be a lot of work coming in for you as well pile number threes okay with this prince of swords but it's charging right to you okay going back to the beginning of your reading we have uh, the five of swords with defeat and the ace of pentacles maybe you were given an opportunity with something but your mind didn't know hmm your mind didn't know how to take this opportunity Ooh, i'm getting self-sabotage too here with five of swords um pile number threes you know maybe you felt like you self-sabotage a brand new opportunity <sighs> Hmm. Let's see. Let's clarify this five of swords. Okay. Let's clarify this five of swords from my pile number threes. Thank you, God. Thank you, spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages. Why is this five of swords here, God, for our pile number threes? Why is the five of swords here? Could have something to do with the Leo because I'm seeing a lot of Leo energy here. Why is this five of swords here? Oh, maybe someone self-sabotaging energy with you and you broke the cycle, okay? With the devil here in reverse, we have the eight of cups, the king of cups, and the page of swords. Huh. So yeah, you could have left behind an opportunity that was given to you, maybe from a, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And then with the page, or you were putting up like a brave face or like a, a poker face on, and with the page of swords in reverse, maybe someone's watching you or curious about you now or what you're doing. Hmm. Or maybe you're trying to get more into your curiosity, pile number threes. Okay. So with the princess of pentacles, which is the page of pentacles and the ten of swords, I feel like you're learning... You're starting over and you're learning from any past mistakes, whatever you're learning from whatever didn't work. That's what I'm getting with this uh, Princess of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Whatever didn't work, whatever left you high and dry and in ruins, your heart has learned from it. It's like epigenetics, like when you incorporate something new, like almost like muscle memory, right? Your heart has learned from what no longer serves and what no longer works and it won't it won't let itself get back to that type of sorrow or defeat or things of that nature. So you're willing to walk away from something, okay? In order to salvage uh, your heart is what I'm getting. And like I said, the three of pentacles, maybe you're just like, let me just get back to work. Let me just do whatever I have to do uh, to, to garner, you know, to, to, to just work on myself or, or work on what I need to do, the task at hand, right? And you could have been making that decision very quickly, maybe cutting someone out just quickly. Like it didn't matter. You're just like, let me focus. Okay. The lover's card here. Okay. Gemini energy. And then the page of cups. Yeah. So you could have maybe made a decision. This could have been about a soulmate. We'll get more into this uh, as a reading progresses. We have two eagles here too. Two eagles here. This could be talking about leadership. You know, yeah, this could be about a soulmate. I'm going to clarify this lovers though. But with the Princess of Cups, maybe your intuition was telling you something about a soulmate. Hmm. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Please clarify this lovers card for our pile number three. Why is this lovers card here? Two of Cups. Yeah, this is about a soulmate connection. Tell me. 
please clarify this lover's card for pile number threes. Too many cards. Uh, clear, concise, accurate messages, spirit. Please clarify this lover's card for our pile number threes. We have the high priestess. This is something you know. Yeah, you're using your intuition. Uh-oh. Hold on, wait. Ace of Cups. I'm not going to take these cards. Um, wow. Yeah. You could be feeling or looking very beautiful right now. And, like, there's a lot of, like love interest near you i guess and maybe that's what what you're you know you're moving towards okay with the high priestess you have this deep knowing that someone or something is about to offer you something or wants to commit to you and the ace of cups yeah someone's offering you love or yeah this could be like someone wants to ask you out because of your wisdom okay and it's funny because we have the two of cups and the high priestess which is card number two yeah, someone wants to give you their love. And even look at how this Princess of Cups is like offering this dolphin something. And then the this Ace of Cups is being offered to this High Priestess, okay? It's like your intuition is telling you that maybe there's a, a love interest out here for you. Yeah. Yeah, your high, your your intuition is telling you that love is coming in. That's what I'm getting. That's the transformation. It could be, you know, someone from the past, could be someone new. Might be someone new with the page of uh cups. It could be trying to send you a message with the 9 of cups, happiness in a chariot. You're happy about moving forward, taking this forward movement, okay? About what's to come. You might move forward with this love offer pile number 3s. Okay, take it if it resonates, of course, but this is who you're becoming because you're beckoning anew and you're very happy right now with the Nine of Cups. This is a wish fulfillment coming in and you're happy about moving forward in your life. Tell us more, God. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number threes. What else do they need to hear right now, God? I mean, what else does their heart want to tell them that their mind isn't letting them hear right now? What does pile number three's heart want to tell them? Look, card number eight, positive movement forward. You're moving forward in your life. And look, we have a chariot card here that speaks about forward movement too. In accordance with your willpower and your strength. So whatever that was happening in this lunar, uh, full moon lunar eclipse, and the full moon is the manifestation cycles. A lot of people's manifestations are coming into play, even if like things were kind of bumpy um, because of all the energies that were happening. Tell me more, God. What does pile number three's heart want them to know? that their mind won't let them hear right now. What does pile number three's heart want them to know? Look, card number 12, sacrifice. We have the hangman in reverse too. A lot of, you've sacrificed for for this love or, you know, you're, you're about to have, like you're surrendering to the outcome is what I'm getting. You're surrendering to the outcome. One and two is three. Okay, you could be seeing three, three, three a lot lately. But whatever that you're like, you're your pot of gold. I keep thinking about this because the rainbow ends at this person, right? So even if they're in the murky waters that they can't really see under what's underneath them, they're okay because they're surrendering to the outcome. And because they're surrendering to the outcome, they're able to move towards the sun, move towards what they're what they want. Okay could be a Pisces okay Pisces Cancer Scorpio heavy emphasis on Pisces with the uh, heavy emphasis on Pisces and Scorpio card number 21 yeah completion success and then we have 12 and 21 you could be seeing 12 21 a lot lately too pile number threes the universe has your back you're gaining success okay look through these obstacles and challenges, okay? Whatever that was a, a hindrance or you may have found a hindrance, it, you, you have overcome them. You're moving forward. You're moving through them, okay? And with card number three, partnerships and alliances, yeah, partnership is coming in to help you out. You could be seeing 333 a lot lately too. Both of these, both of these numbers, 12 and 21 is three, okay? 13 is also the number of goddess energy, right? 
You could be feeling more like goddess-like or evoking your inner goddess, whether male, female, or however you um, identify, right? But yeah, you could be seeing 1221 a lot lately as well. Okay, and we have at the bottom of the deck the sacral chakra. So you could be dancing. Maybe you need to move your body more. Maybe you need to dance. Maybe you have been dancing and that's what's making you feel more alive or evoking like the goddess energy within you. Tell us more, God. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number threes. What does their heart want to tell them that their mind won't let them hear right now? What does pile number three's heart look? Oh my goodness. Card number 10, Neptune sacrifice again. Okay. Maybe something you sacrifice is gonna is gonna lead to a beautiful outcome. And it's so interesting. A spider is like climbing on this window in front of me and spiders are really good luck and it's about writing and getting to work and you know um maybe this web okay yeah neptunian energy feeling dreamy a lot of pisces energy right now so some of you all could be pisces okay or have a lot of pisces highly as as ugh, <laughs> highly aspected in your chart we have at the bottom of the deck card number four venus love Maybe you felt like you had to sacrifice a love opportunity in order to gain self-love or, you know, love for something else. Look, we have card number 37, fire element, desire. I'm getting you're very desirable right now too, pile number threes. And uh, maybe that's what your heart is trying to tell you. Like people desire you right now. You're very desirable. Your mind might be playing tricks on you. Like, no, no, not me, but you are. <clears throat> tell me more spirit one more card what does pile number three's heart want to tell them okay i'm gonna pick this card look we have card number 39 air element communicating um yeah you could be getting a lot of messages people can be communicating with you and look we have the fire element and the air element this could be a fire sign one could be an air sign so one could be a uh, 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 excuse me, one could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the other one could be an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini, okay? You might have to choose between two elements or sacrifice one over the other or surrender one over, you know? <laughs> <clears throat> um, we have at the bottom of the deck card number 48 with y'all destiny but it's your destiny i'm gonna read this card because it, it keeps coming out so i'm gonna i'm gonna read that card give me one second y'all i've got to go get some water <clears throat> okay that's better <clears throat> excuse me so let's see we have card number 48. Huh. So it says, y'all destiny. A person often meets his destiny on the road he took to avoid it. It's funny. So let's see. So it says the ancients believed that the yod was an area of fate in the chart and not a particular favorable one. It says, uh, also called the eye of God or the finger of God, the yod is a peculiar astrological configuration in a chart. It is a triangle formed by two planets 60 degrees apart while both are 150 degrees from a third planet. This creates a thin pie-shaped aspect. The yod configures is linked to the Hebrew alphabet yod or yud is the 10th letter of the Hebrew alphabet, which has mystical implications signifying the omnipresence of God and often denoting humility because the energy is locked in that triangular configuration, causing matters to be faded and often difficult, but not without their rewards, okay? So it says, when the Yod card presents itself in a reading, it means that the situation may be chaotic or may soon turn that way. It will be hard to see any clear path because of this chaos, but it will be important to, oh, sorry, my nose itches. It will be important to weather through it all. This is not always bad because it is a process of finding what works and what isn't functioning. And now will be the time to be scaling things down and weeding out what is unnecessary. Yeah. 
it says this card can denote a time of voyage inward and come to your own truth. There really isn't anyone who will have the tools to figure this out more than you at this time. So now may not be the best time to take advice from others. Your inner knowing has it already. You just have to take the time to process the information to come to your own answer. So yeah, this is exactly what's going on. You're going inward. You're, you know, kind of like surrendering to the outcome in the process. And, and with that being said, pile number three is you're cultivating a sense of self that you've never had before. Okay. And it could be something that's fueling this fire, that's fueling this desire in you. And that's maybe what's helping it, okay? Especially with the air element and the fire elements designer. Especially with the air element and the fire element desire. Maybe you need to communicate your desires more, even to yourself or to God. Just so you could, like it said, weed out what isn't working. Tell me more, God. Clear, concise, accurate messages. What uh, is pile number three's heart trying to tell them? Arrow focus. Yeah, you need to focus on one goal and one objective and you'll you'll get it. You'll get it. Or you are focused on one goal or one objective or someone is focused on you right now. Tell me more, God. Clear, concise, accurate messages from pile number threes. What does their heart want to tell them? That the mind won't allow them to hear right now. Sheesh. Look, so we have scrying mirror projections and we have palmistry interpretation. You should go check out pile number two because that came, yeah, sorry, I told y'all, but <laughs> that came out in this too, like almost in the exact positions. And then we have astrology destiny. It's something about your destiny. Look, we have two, de oh no, sorry about that, y'all. <sighs> Sorry, study, study. Okay, so um, we have, where is the bottom? Yeah, two destinies cards. Your destiny is unfolding before your eyes, pile number threes. Your destiny is awaiting you, okay? <clears throat> and it could be in an interpretation of something. Maybe you're misinterpreting something and you need to really ground yourself and be, you know, get more centered and, you know, just surrender to the process of what's going on. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So let's pull some last cards for my lovely pile number threes. Tell us more, God. Last messages, divine guidance, insight, and wisdom. What does pile number threes need to know? Um, yeah, any in, insight, wisdom, guidance, spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, okay. Look, creative potential. Okay, I love this. You are by nature infinitely creative. Life is a sea of creative potential just waiting to be expressed through you. You are free to express all your heart's desires. So God, spirit, source, energy, your heart is telling you what do you want? <laughs> what do you desire? Because you can have it. You just have to get very clear on what you want because this transformation is happening for you, not to you. And it's happening for you so you can get more clear and directive and and, and uh, go in the way that you're being led and called to, right? Because that destiny card keeps coming up. Tell us more, God. Change. Look. So it says life is a journey. It would be very unfulfilling if each step was exactly the same as the last. Because life is always changing, it is forever fresh and new. Allow your life allow, allow your life to unfold gracefully. Be grateful for what was, is, and forever will be. Beautiful. One more card, God. Okay, two came out, so <laughs> y'all get two. <clears throat> so we have Archangel Gabriel. It is you, uh, you will soon receive some positive news. The channels for clear and honest communication are now open. Keep an open heart and speak your truth lovingly without fear. And then we have trust. Okay. All will work out well. We, your angels, are here to nurture, protect, and heal you. Trust in the healing power of our love. We love you more than you'll ever know. So just uh, continue to surrender to the process pile number three and trust in the process because it's all unfolding for you okay my sweets so with that being said my lovely dreamy dreamers i love you all so much pile number threes if you like this reading if it resonated with you please give this reading a big thumbs up like share and subscribe share this content with loved ones family friends or anyone else who would best benefit from the messages provided here today again i love you all so much my dreamy dreamers and until next time i'll see you in the next reading bye
Hey, pile number four is welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this really beautiful world card. And it's so interesting because I feel like your heart is trying to tell you, like I was getting that song, you got the whole world in this hands. You got the whole world in your hands. You got the whole world in your hands. I think that's like a gospel song or something, but yeah, you feel like you have the whole world in your hands and your heart wants you to know you do, you know, whatever you want to make manifest, it will happen. Okay, according according to your faith, be it unto you. I know I say that a lot, but that's what's going on here. And I feel like even though your mind may be telling you an alternative truth, like that's not the case or, you know, whatever it's telling you, it really is. Okay, so sorry about that. It, yeah, it really is the case. So in regards to this world card, you literally have the whole world in your hands and it's, you know, really... Um, allowing your heart to lead uh in that recognition if that makes sense and don't allow your head to consume you with falsities or fallacies that that's not the truth because it is it's 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 out coming out here in this reading right you could be uh, experiencing a lot of completions a lot of completions of old cycles and really having a uh, beautiful instances with new occurrences and things of that nature and you could be you know just really trying to make sense of it all trying to decipher it all at this point in time right so let's begin your reading we have at the bottom of the deck the five of swords in reverse and i feel like you are coming out of this defeatist mentality like you're no longer allowing your mind to play tricks on you you know the truth and you're adhering to that truth and you are being grounded in your power and and um you know the trust that you have in god spirit source energy your higher self right now okay you're not allowing anything to defeat you especially your mentality okay you're defeating it so let's list off your cards. We have the Queen of Cups, the Six of Pentacles with Success, Four of Wands with Completion, the Star card, King of Swords, King of Pentacles, the Hierophant, King of Wands, the High Priestess, and the Eight of in the Eight of Wands with Swiftness. Very beautiful cards. Pile number four is just congratulations in advance. Okay. So in the center of the reading, you have completions, four of wands, and the king of wands. I feel like you're really feeling your power at this time. You're feeling your sense of leadership and, you know, a completion of a cycle that maybe someone else has helped you out with, okay? Uh, when it comes to the four of wands, I'm getting integration and soul growth and allowing others to really help you and, and benefiting from that help and to help you complete something. And this could be a mission that you were set out to do, but you could be having a lot of fire and desire within you and underneath you to accomplish something and to get it done, right? Especially here with this King of Wands energy, I'm getting like that's you and your leadership capabilities and you know how you can be a leader from anywhere, from any angle you 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 beckon, from any angle you are at, you are in a leadership role, okay? And with this Four of Wands completion, you're feeling more um, free to, to be. You're feeling more free to be, okay? And like I said, integration, okay? It could be with the masculine and the feminine aspects inside of you. And you're not afraid to hone in that masculine aspect to get things done at this time as well. So going back to the center, the beginning of your reading, excuse me, with the Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles, there could be a, an, an integration of your emotional well-being and your physical well-being, okay? And you using both of these aspects of your energy to cultivate something. You also could be coming into um, a alliance or a... Um, maybe a what is it called a contract with a king of pentacles or a queen of cups depending on you know your situation okay you could be coming together with a water sign pisces cancer scorpio or an earth sign uh, a taurus a virgo or a capricorn at this time or integrating both of those aspects of your personality or both of those aspects in your chart okay so let's say for instance you're a pisces sun and you're a uh Capricorn moon or something like that. Those aspects are being integrated into you right now so you can best benefit from them uh, at the time and during the time being, right? So with the six of pentacles with success in the hierophant, you are a very successful spiritual leader. That's just what I'm getting. Or you're about to become that. 
you are a very successful spiritual leader. That's just what I'm getting. With the Hierophant, it's like uh, you've acquired a lot of wisdom and knowledge, and now you're sharing that wisdom and knowledge through your teachings, okay? You could just genuinely, thoroughly enjoy helping others, and God's spirit source energy is facilitating that with abundance, okay? So you can make a, a living off of helping others. You can make a living off of like guiding people. You could be a guidance counselor or something like that. But what I'm getting is that you're just a very successful spiritual leader or you're becoming one. You're one in the making, okay? And you're being brought back to balance. And it's probably probably because you're a balanced person. It's almost like it's raining money or something because it's literally raining coins um, in this depiction of the Six of Pentacles. But whatever success means to you, okay? It could just be a windfall of abundance coming in because of your dedication to your work or your craft or um, maybe even your, your um, spirituality, okay? So with the star card and the high priestess, whew, it's 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 some major energies going on with this, okay? So we got one, two, three, four, we got one, two, three. We have three, technically four, if you pick the pile selection card, um, major arcanas, right? So a lot of spirituality. We have the hierophant and the high priestess. This is both the masculine and the feminine principle of spirituality one is a more extroverted one and more is a more introverted one which explains the masculine and the feminine okay the high priestess is just the feminine version of the hierophant right so i have a feeling pile number four is that you know your wish okay you you're a healer you're a healer okay okay and you can heal through your divine feminine as well you heal both ways through your masculine energy and your feminine energy. And um, I feel like you heal the world. You make, I feel like you could make a lot of um, resources and uh, abundance through your the masculine way of, of this spirituality, which is teaching, which is, you know, guiding people in the external. And then you also heal the world or something along that nature, right? You heal yourself or, or through healing yourself, okay, with the arcane wisdom that you have acquired in that deep insight, that dark feminine or that divine feminine, you healed yourself in the world, okay? And that's what I'm getting. Uh, could be an Aquarius uh, coming your way too, or you have a lot of Aquarius energy. But what I'm getting is like there's this deep, profound knowing of your healing capabilities. And uh, it, it, maybe it was even once a wish fulfillment for you to be able to do this to the best of your ability. Maybe you prayed for something like this, you know, to do your job and to do it well. Okay, with the King of Swords and the Eight of Wands, something is coming in for you very quickly. This could be all this abundance and change is literally headed your way, pile number fours. You see this? King of Swords is rushing in. It's almost like the Knight of Swords. The King of Swords is rushing in because they know what they want and they're using their magic, the tools, their, their, their um, magician capabilities to obtain it, okay? With the swiftness, it's coming in. This is coming in very quickly. So we're gonna pull some more cards to maybe see what it is, but your heart wants to tell you that whatever you want, it's yours, it's yours. You've done the work, you've done the work, kudos. This is a beautiful reading, pal. This is a, sorry about that. This is a beautiful reading, pile number fours. Tell us more, God. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number fours. What else uh, does pile number four's hearts want them to know that their mind may not be allowing them to hear right now? What else does pile number four's heart want them to know, God? Okay. So this came out, this wanted to come out. One more card, Spirit. What does pile number four's hearts want them to know okay thank you so we have at the bottom of the deck card number 13 transformation this is probably coming in because of the transformation that you've had from this full moon lunar eclipse in the sign of scorpio okay so we have card number 20 truth we have card number 18 shadow which is the moon card something you're not seeing yet and i feel like maybe it's all this abundance you haven't been able to see that clearly yet right and then we have a uh, card number four rest and rejuvenate this uh 
this full moon lunar eclipse maybe has had you feeling very tired and you had to kind of take a step back in order to move a step forward okay and the truth is coming out and the truth is that your life is unfolding very beautifully okay and we have card number one love begins so this could be a love offer coming in very quickly maybe someone is trying to propose to you want to get married to you because we do have the hierophant and the four of wands those are both marriage cards okay this could be a king of wands so a, a fire sign leo uh, aries or sagittarius coming in for you Okay, this could also be a lot of self-love, self-integration, soul growth here, okay, that you have cultivated over a certain period of time. Take what, what resonates, pile number fours, but the world is opening up to you, babies. The world is opening up. Embrace it. Drink it down. It always goes smooth down smoothly. <laughs> drink it down you i feel like yeah you've prayed for this with the rest and rejuvenation is something i should prayed and meditated on before tell us more god clear concise accurate messages someone's gonna confess something to you as well maybe uh what is pile number four's heart trying to tell them that their mind won't allow them to hear right now okay gosh truth came out twice sheesh Look, we have card number 51, Mercury Retrograde Reinvention. Maybe some of you all have reinvented yourself during this Mercury Retrograde or like just in general. We do have a lot of transformative energy, so it makes sense. We have card number 11, Pluto with transformation. So the reinvention process looks great on you, pile number four. It's like you all have cultivated a sense of self and you've revamped, you completely revamped, okay? You've completely revamped yourself. Okay, and we have card number six, Saturn, the truth. And the, that's the truth, okay? Look, we have truth twice here, twice. The truth is coming out. Someone is coming out to tell you something, that they love you, that they want you, that they always want to be with you, that they always have, that they always will, okay? Maybe that they are different people now. This could also be about abundance and love because Venus rules Taurus or Taurus rules Venus, however that goes. Um, so yeah, someone could be like coming to profess their love. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read a little bit of this Taurus I have card for y'all. So it says, let's see. So it says, Taurus I have April 20th through May 21st. There are three classes of people, those who, those who see, those who see when they are shown and those who do not see Leonardo da Vinci. Wow. It says you are about to grow something from which there will be beauty and abundance pile number fours. <laughs> and that's the truth. <laughs> okay. And that is the truth. You are about to grow something from which there will be beauty and abundance. Taurus natives are ruled by Venus, the planet of love, loveliness and indulgence. They tend to be down to earth, but have a special eye for attractiveness and always have a need for luxury practical matters rule first with tours taking care of the home and all the comforts before they move on towards what they truly love which is pondering the meaning of their fates as spiritual masters hello <laughs> and teachers they never completely stray away from what is real and solid ground yet in their own way they can be dreamy okay so it says, uh, when this card comes up in a reading, money issues will have bearing on the matter, whether obvious or not so obvious, bank accounts, uh, accounting change, accumulating funds, any matter to do with finances will come into play. It is a fortunate time to ask for a loan, a raise in pay, or to buy into stocks. It is also a good time to become in involved in accounting or matters dealing with numbers and currency. It says this card indicates talents in the arts, especially singing and music. Taurus shares rulership with Leo over the stage, so matters involving plays, musicals, theaters, concerts, and those that are traditional, such as ballet or classical music, may have some meaning now. Wow, it says the Taurus card 
turning up in a spread is always a positive sign as it is highly stable and supportive. In a chart, Taurus stabilizes matters. In general, Taurus is steady and reliable and hardly ever gets upset. One cannot rely one cannot rile a sens sensuous bull too easily, but if one does, the explosive results may be unforgettable. That's true. So yeah, so come on. Do I have to say anything else, pile number four? Is like you all are cultivating a whole new life for yourself that is indoctrinated in beauty and prosperity and love and abundance and everything that's amazing in this world. And I feel like you guys have come from a tough start to, in order to facilitate all this, especially with Saturn truth here. You guys could have went through your Saturn return. You guys could have went through those 13 years of just, you know, uh, bouncing things off the off the wall to seeing what sticks and now you finally see what's what what has stuck okay and this is what you've been wanting to cultivate for a very long time whether that be a relationship a loving relationship whether that be travel expansion art beauty abundance whatever it is for you it's coming in quick <laughs> okay tell me more god Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number fours. What does their heart want to tell them that their mind may not be allowing them, them to hear right now? Dousing rods. What you seek is seeking you. X marks the spot. You're, you're in the right place in the right time. Okay? Look, we have footprints, directions. You're being led to this pile number fours. Oh, okay. I'm not going to take this. And look, we have candles illuminate. Illumination. Look, so you're being led to this. You're being, oh my goodness. I was about to say you're being led to your destiny again. Astrology, destiny. Something is just in the cards for you. This is your destiny. I have to read this card. I have to. It keeps coming up. It keeps coming up. Pile number four. Oh, oops. Wrong book. Whew. So let's see two yeah you're the the path is now illuminated clear you're you're here okay it says you're here basically this is what this saying you don't have to wait any longer you're here if you haven't seen this unfold now it's about to okay it says astrology destiny you have an important life purpose and are here to shine brightly you have always felt different and special and known that you were meant to be big trouble is life has gotten in the way and even though you have felt a calling you don't actually know what it is you're meant to do before you were born you choose the exact time of your birth and the date to determine who you would be in this lifetime and what you came here to achieve your astrological sign stars and planetary movement all play a big part in your life yes you can create your own destiny but it is the stars that point you in the right direction this is what this says footprints directions dousing rod seeker candle illumination Ooh, child a lot of you all could have been into astrology very young in your life very early on in your life and it has pointed you in this direction and it's maybe something that you always knew but never really maybe like place emphasis on like how it said in that Taurus card like practical things came up first and now that those practical things are grounded now you are now you're now able to reach for higher and higher heights okay so it says so go seek out the seeker wow go seek out the astrological map of the journey of your life for by doing so many answers will be revealed to you not only will you be fascinated you will also find that which you have been searching for all this time it says, um, yeah, other divinatory meetings, visit an accredited astrologer to have your astrological chart read, enjoy stargazing, learn about the planets and how their alignments affect you, take bold steps towards your chosen destiny and go for it. Whoo, child. Pile number four is y'all are, y'all are here. Y'all are always where you wanted to be. And uh, if you aren't seeing that exactly right now, you will be very soon. And I mean, very soon. Okay, so let's conclude your reading with um, some angel messages. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages. Okay. Oh, look, this card just wanted to fly out. Miracle. Our wings of light surround you and those you love. This current situation is governed by a higher power. The forces of love are at work. All will turn out well. Well, well dang. Pile number fours. Sheesh. 
Tell me more, God. Last messages for our pile number fours. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number fours. Thank you. Positive outcome. Who child. The sun is about to burst through the clouds and you will soon see things in a different light. Something that previously seemed hopeless will soon be filled with nothing but hope. One more card, God, for our pile number fours. Change, yeah. It says change. Life is a journey. It will be very unfulfilling if each step was exactly the same as the last because life is always changing it is forever fresh and new allow your life to unfold gracefully be grateful for what was is and forever will be beautiful energy pile number fours look we do have a uh, bottom of the deck anxiety we surround you with the healing light of amethyst take a deep breath and breathe in this beautiful violet feet violet light fill your anxiety melting away there's nothing to fear there's only love so where you maybe have felt anxiety i felt like it was just the inertia it was like the calm before the storm of blessings that are about to rain down upon you paul number four so with that being said my loves excellent work great job kudos bravo you know you deserve it you earned it okay and with that being said i love you all so much my pile number fours if you like this reading if it resonated with you please give this reading a big thumbs up like share and subscribe share this content with loved ones family friends or anyone else who would best benefit from the messages provided here today again my dreamy dreamers i love you so much and until next time i'll see you in your next readings bye